Okay, hi everyone. So this set of notes I'm going to go through right now that you can start to see right here on the side um, are going to talk about setting up LinkedIn and they're going to talk a little bit more about some of the online presence that we're going to have um, as we finish off this portfolio. So I'm going to actually switch um, in a second just to going in the full screen so you can kind of, um, I'll show you kind of how it goes play by play here. And um, so I'm hidden right now because I want you to actually focus on the PowerPoint in hand here, which I'll also upload. Um, but I want my narration to kind of help you get through um, the majority of this and then we'll flip back. So um, social media is uh, sort of the elusive part of the business and the professional world these days. And I love kind of this infograph of social media explained in coffee. If you're a coffee drinker, this is perfect for you or substitute tea or whatever gets you going in the morning. Um, Facebook, I like coffee. Uh, Pinterest, here's a collection of pictures and recipes of coffee drinks. Twitter, I am drinking hashtag coffee. Uh, YouTube, watch me as I drink coffee. Google Plus, I'm a Google employee who drinks coffee. Um, if you're looking at checkmark, here's where I drink coffee. I came here a lot. I am the mayor. So you have like the checkmark for the four square. Um, you have LinkedIn, I am good at drinking coffee. And then of course, Instagram, here's a vintage picture of me drinking coffee. So I sort of love that, but in some capacity in all these, you know, in these kind of funny ways, um, social social media plays a huge role in, in our professions these days, um, especially in certain professions. So that's why one of our assignments for this week is focusing on LinkedIn. And we might focus on some of these others as well, but first I'm gonna start with LinkedIn because it is sort of the most kind of, um, the one that you're gonna to want to kind of use the most with this. So here's a little vintage social networking, a um, uh, little cartoon that I saw for you here. So you have the Rolodex, which is now replaced by LinkedIn, the you know elusive uh, cork board replaced by Pinterest, YouTube, actually by looking outside, you have Reddit, Skype replaced, Tumblr, which actually Tumblr is pretty cool to use in some capacities for, um, for some professional means. Facebook, which has replaced the address book, of course. Twitter with the post-it notes. WordPress, which is great to use for free blogs and websites. And uh, you have Instagram, uh, Foursquare, and Imgur with the pictures on here. So I think there's a kind of like fun infographs. But I do have a question because I feel like it is important to address social media is here to stay. So we're gonna wanna kind of um, look at some of the positives to social media in the workplace and some of the negatives. I might pose this in one of your questions this week to kind of think a little bit more about, but I know you might gravitate to thinking more of the negatives at first, and that's fine, but there can be some, some positive attributes to having social media, um, even not directly in your workplace, but having a good role in, in your kind of professional environment. So again, I'll post this whole PowerPoint. I wanted to go through some of these slides with you myself, hence why I want to kind of narrate them and go back and forth here. So in terms of just focusing on LinkedIn for a couple minutes, and then we can talk about other areas um, in different sets of notes, so every second, two new members sign up on LinkedIn. Now, you might have a LinkedIn profile and have not touched it for a great deal of time. You might um, have sort of, you know, neglected it, started it at one point, or you might be super diligent, which even I am not all the time, and you might have updated yours every other month, and that's fantastic. Um, but LinkedIn is, is becoming one of the most important sort of social media sites that we want you as sort of up and coming to jobs and grad programs and volunteer opportunities, we want you to be involved with. So we wanna look at what exactly is LinkedIn. My goal is to get you to build a strong profile, um, building a strong network, and how to use LinkedIn as a job search tool because this has become really, really important. Um, and it's great to have this as another means of job searching, internship searching, whatever it might be. So the big three rules that I've kind of found when looking through LinkedIn um, is building a network before you need it. You know, you don't want to start friending and following businesses and following organizations uh, one day and then the next day you're like, I need a job from them because <laughs> people can see that. And secondly, you know, you want to build your network up. You know, you don't want to be grasping to have a network. 
also, you know, I'm always big on quality over quantity, but building a quality relational network. So it's not about having like 700 friends on there, 700 connections or following 700 organizations all over the globe. Um, find the ones that are going to match up with your interests, with your style, uh, ones that you think will help you to an advantage of being a connection. Um, and it's okay if you only find like 20 people. That's not a big deal. If those are 20 good people or organizations or opportunities, then that's fine. And of course, I like to think aspirational. Think big. You know, you might you might say, oh, you know, this person probably doesn't even check their profile or, ch or log into LinkedIn. But you never know. They might. And that might lead to a bigger connection, a bigger opportunity for you later on. So those are three really good guiding rules that I've kind of tried to follow. But, you know, I think the biggest question that people ask me is why? Like, why should I even use this? And here are some stats that... Um, I like to think support this a little bit better. I'll move some of this down so you can see up here a little bit. I don't know why that's a little messed up there. I'll fix it on another PowerPoint. So I know when I found these, and these are pretty recent statistics, um, it just kind of blew me around. So you have over 313 million users worldwide, and over 100 million plus are just in the United States. So, and this is a really big number. You can see this right here. 30 million students and recent grads, so you're dominating a big portion of that. About 35% users check daily, 42% are updating on a regular basis, about 50% of users are male, 44% female, over 2.7 million business pages and over 1.5 million groups that you can join. In a 2013 study conducted by the Society for the Human Resources Management shows that 77% of hiring professionals are using social media in their search process. Okay, that's huge. That's huge. And I don't know if you can see this, or I'll move it down here so you can. 94% of that group are using LinkedIn. So that only means that 6% of other people are using something else, not LinkedIn. That's huge and a, a staggering kind of percentage with that. So if that doesn't help you validate some of this, I'm not sure kind of what would in that capacity. Um, you're about 11 times more likely to have your profile viewed if there's a photo. That kind of goes with sort of anything. Um, but I will say that, you know, picking a nice professional photo, the one, you know, the stock photo I have here, like this is obviously a headshot that was taken at an organization. But if you just have a nice clean photo, mostly just of your face or, you know, as much of your face as possible as you can get in, um, I think that's perfect. So it doesn't look like you're intentionally, you know, cropping out your friends on the side or anything like that. Um, just a nice clear view of someone who can see you. You don't have to be dressed in your power suit unless you want to, but hey, go for it if that makes a difference. Um, and that goes for sort of all types of social media. I'll say that now. You should always have a very clean, clear, you know, your Facebook is your Facebook. Book, that's fine, but I'll talk about representations on all social media. Um, nice clean photos, especially if you know that potential employers are going to use it. So we're going to look at building a profile, building a network, and building a brand. I might break these up into two sets of notes so you can kind of, um, I don't want to be rushed through them here, and this way you're not feeling like you're watching a whole sort of bunch of sets. So I'm going to stop this one right here, and then uh, we can go forth and we'll talk about building your profile.